Hi everyone, as you can see I'm out and about again in the old Land Rover mobile studio. So I've just pulled up at the side of the road here. I've just, this is exactly what I wanted to do with this was to just poodle around, go up and down the lanes a bit, see if I find somewhere that's exciting to to uh, to stop and do some painting. It's a really beautiful kind of autumn, sunny autumn day. It's pretty warm. Uh, I feel like I'm dodging the rain showers a little bit though. I could. Uh, it's one of those days. It's pretty windy. And it's one of those autumn days. You kind of feel like it could go either way. It might stay just like this, or I might just turn and start chucking it with rain. So we'll have to see how it goes. But um, it doesn't look too threatening at the moment. I want to try and get some of this uh, movement that's that's out here at the moment. Lovely. A windy cloudy sky so I might try some of that but as you know from previous videos of mine I always say you know don't don't try and uh, don't try and decide what your paintings are going to end up like before you even started doing them my intention I was coming out I'm looking at the sky and thinking it's pretty exciting I might go for some of that but when I start painting it might turn out different because you know like I said you know don't want to don't want to decide what the painting's going to look like before I've even made a mark on the paper. You know, just let it um, let it happen. Before I get going, don't forget, if you want to learn how to do this kind of work for yourself, you can still sign up for my next online workshop at the beginning of October. It runs for three weeks and there's loads of tutorials and Q&As. There's a group you can join where you can share your work and I'll be able to see it and I'll give you feedback on every single piece of work that you post. So if you're interested in that, please do check out the link that's here on the screen and I'd love to see you on the course. Okay, let's get on. So I've just got the painting kit with me that I was talking about in a previous video uh, if you didn't see that one i'll put the link up on the uh, top right of the screen so you can click on that and you can you know see me where i was talking about uh, these materials that i bring out with me when i'm painting keeping it nice and simple so that's literally all i've got with me so if you want to watch that video click on the link that's just popping up on the screen there keeping it nice and simple i find that's the best way of doing it i don't have to think about the materials that I'm bringing out I don't have to make lots of decisions about what kind of painting I'm going to do because I'm just going to use the same materials that I always use um, I just find that it helps me to be more creative more um, thoughtful about while I'm here I don't have to because I'm not uh, umming and ahhing about uh, you know should I bring this should I bring that Oh, well, if I better take all this kit just in case, <laughs> just in case I see something and I haven't got quite the right thing. I don't worry about any of that. I just bring this nice basic kit with me and make the best of what I've got. Make it work. That's, that's, that's really, you know, make this kit work. Now I'm standing here looking out what I was talking about, I'm talking about the, uh, the movement and the sky. It's kind of all there. Uh, so that's certainly where I'm going to start with the painting. And I'll see where it goes after that. So I just think this lovely autumn windy sky is just the kind of thing that I want to try and get in the painting today. So I'll give that a go, see where it takes me.
so that was really good i enjoyed that it's um i don't know if you could tell but I, i've been uh, i was battling with the the wind a bit the paper was blowing around all over the place even though it's kind of inside the back of the car here um it was still uh, getting blown around i was worried that the camera was going to get blown over at one point because it's kind of a really blustery autumn day so it's a little bit unpredictable but yeah got it down so I think sometimes those being slightly uncomfortable actually helps. I think uh, if you're if you're too comfortable, if you're you know sitting down and it's nice and calm and everything is serene, I think it's difficult to get energy into your paintings. But if you're struggling a little bit, I actually think that sometimes that can be a help. If maybe if you're a bit uncomfortable, maybe you know like I was saying, like the paper is blowing around all over the place and uh, a little bit out of control. I actually think that that helps get the energy into the paintings because otherwise it's very passive uh, and I don't want that kind of passive nature of my paintings because you know look at it out here it's uh, it's very exciting everything's moving and that's what I want to get into the painting so um, yeah I think being slightly out of control sometimes maybe you're a little bit uncomfortable and not um, finding everything that easy you know things are being blown about all over the place but I think sometimes that can be a big help. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. As I said earlier, there's still time to sign up for my next online workshop, doing loads of this kind of work and all the kind of collage work that you see me doing in the studio. So if you're interested in that, please do check out the link that's here on the screen. Okay, I'll see you next time.